Hello and welcome back to SAP S4HANA Asset Management Training. I'm going to do a quick recap of what we looked at earlier before moving on to operations. And we looked at the Find Maintenance Notification app. From there we went to the Standard screen, which has several filters. But in our case we added an additional filter, we added the Planner Group filter. And the reason we did this was to help us search for notifications that are associated with that planner group or as are assigned to that planner group. So that gave us or returned two maintenance notifications. We selected one of the notifications and then from there we went to one of the apps which is change maintenance notification app from here then we assigned an order to a work order to that notification clicked ok there and then all uh, this screen need to be populated by we we went ahead and clicked save uh, to create the work order and you can see the work order number on your top left So I'm going to do a quick run through of the tabs that we have on this screen. We have the general data, the location data, which should be populated, organizational data, which sometimes is inherited from the other systems or other configuration. We have the operation data. We're going to come back to that in a minute. Then we have the object list. We have the cost could be internal, external, the material cost, and all that. We have documents to help us execute this work. Permits, safety plan, which is important, and other material that we may need to have. So that is what we have on this change maintenance order screen. So I'm gonna go back to operation data, uh, like I mentioned at the tab there. And we start by changing this to internal operations. And by internal, I mean operations that are being done by our internal labor. I can duplicate the first operation that I have there. I need to create three operations. So just go to the icon for duplicates and then uh, you have the 10, 20, and 30, the three operations. So the first thing we need to do is to assign time to each of the operations. So on this column here we have the time, uh, so one hour, one of them is the, the actual count of the time or the duration and the other one is the unit. So one hour, two hour and three hours. So I'll also change the description, the long description of the task So the second task is I'm replacing the lab rubber seal and the third one is I'm testing to make sure that everything is working okay. So the first one is switch off the uh, unit uh, that you're working on, uh, do the work and then test. So I have the three operations there. Additional information that I need to fill out here in my operations uh, is the control key, uh, what kind of um, operation it, uh, this is. Uh, this is uh, PM01, uh, the second one is also PM01, and you have a list of uh, different uh, control keys in your system, and that is done during configuration. And like I said earlier, that's the H is the unit of measure, which is one hour, two hour, three hour. Uh, for operation one, two, and three. At this point, all we need to do is to save and the maintenance order is saved in the system and associated with the notification that we started with. Any necessary calculations related to time and cost will also have been done. So that is how we work with find maintenance notification and associated apps. 
So thank you for watching. Please remember to subscribe to our channel and see you in the next video.